Hey, what you want, yeah We just chillin' by the wild wise Lemonade with the large fries Puff twice for the calm high Hey, what you want, yeah Big checks make the bank bounce Old school candy paint down Bad chicks, they from down south Hey, what you want Hello and welcome to my channel, BQ Quick Review. I'm your host, BQ. And today we're going to be doing a request from Psycho MNF. Thank you for the suggestion, man. And uh, yeah, this will be Blood of Zeus. Now, Blood of Zeus is about a son named... What is, what is this guy's name? See, I forget names already. <laughs> I always forget who will never review. Uh, no, I really want to know this guy's name. So, okay, I'm going to cheat for a second. This story is about this guy named Ar Heron. I was about to say Armin. Still stuck on Attack on Titan. It's about this guy named Heron and his mother who are outcasts. And they're outcast into the city uh this polis and these demons are lurking through polis and this woman whatever who's like an amazonian woman she's a great warrior she's tracking down these two demons that come across this town and heron comes across one of these demons and so they work together to try to take the demons down and find the source of it and to find the giant where that's they're getting these powers and this was a really I like let me say this this one's based off of um Greek mythology you know so it uh you have all the the gods like Zeus and stuff like that I'm always uh fascinated with the Greek mythology and stuff like that I want to see like a show that like goes into the uh, mythology of like the Egyptian gods and stuff like that. Maybe you guys can point me in the right direction. But yes, yeah, so this takes place with uh, within the Greek mythology, and yeah, this one is really nice. You know, uh, I like it. It's, it has a nice story. It's a very quick one too. You could probably watch this in like a day. It took me two days to watch. That's only because I had to go to work and stuff. But other than that. You know, you could finish this definitely in one day. Uh, it's about eight episodes. I believe they're like um, maybe 30, 30 to 40 minutes long. I didn't really check the time of each episode. But yeah, you could definitely finish this one in a day. It's a nice short animated series by Netflix. And this one is really, really nice. You know, I, I like it. The animation's pretty nice. I think these were the same animators from uh, the people that made, uh, I think it was Castlevania. Which was a good series too. I'm going to get to a review of that. And um, yeah, it was really nice. It's a very gory series. Sometimes too gory. Like unnecessarily gory. Sometimes. And sometimes it's nice. It's like, oh, oh, oh. And it's just like, yeah, this is definitely a mature series too for you to watch. I like this one. It's really good. And... Yeah, a really short series. I want to see more of it and see what it can do. It's not nothing like crazy that I'm just like, oh, this is like the best series ever. But it's definitely a good series for you to watch. And it's something quick that you could get, you know, one, two, and out of the way. So, yes, we will get to the quick reading of Blood of Zeus. And I'm going to give this one a four out of five. It's a good series. I like it. It's, you know, I just want to see what more it can do. And, sorry, guys. <laughs> I want to see what else it can do and uh, see how it expands the the uh, Greek mythology. I never heard of Her Heron or Heron. I don't know if I'm saying it wrong, but I never heard of him in the Greek mythology. Maybe you guys can show me some source and educate me on that. But I, I never heard of this guy. Uh, maybe it's their created new character off of the mythology or I don't know maybe it's just somebody I just haven't heard of but yes that is my rating and that's my quick review of Blood of Zeus good series you should definitely go check it out it's very short you could get this thing done bench watching in one day so yeah thank you guys for watching 
and we are going to go to the spoiler section watch the series first and then come back so we could talk about the juicy stuff and uh make sure you like comment and subscribe and i'll see you guys in the next review and let's get on to spoilers okay guys we are in the spoiler section you Whoever one of you who are in here who hasn't watched the series, get out. Get out right now. You're not you 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 don't you you're not allowed in here. Go watch the series first. Anyways, yes, we are in to the spoiler section. Yeah, this was a really nice series, you know. Uh, I like the animation and the, the goriness of it. And yeah. Zeus was being a little hoe. <laughs> like everything that went wrong in the show was because Zeus was being a big fucking hoe. It was so freaking crazy. Like this guy just has bastard sons everywhere. And you know, I understand why she's tight, but it's just like, damn, she, she was just, she just took her anger just a bit too far. And you know, her anger is justified, but like, Come on, doing all that now, uh, I don't know, but <laughs> yeah, I like uh, what Poseidon said, he's like, you know, you're a fool if you, um, she's a fool to go against me, and he said, you're a fool to anger her, and yeah, he, she pretty much proved that, like, she is no freaking joke, and yeah, he need to stop slinging dick around and being a hoe. <laughs> Yeah, this series is very, very uh, graphic and very mature, you know. And uh, I do like that. Like I said, sometimes it's uh, unnecessarily gory. But, you know, I like it. I like it. Uh, the main character, Heron, he did a couple of stupid things I didn't like. It's like the very first episode when there's people running away and from the, the demons or they're running away because uh, they saw the... Uh, the Amazonians come uh, to the scene and everything and he was like hey what's going on and then ran towards what everybody else was running away from I was like why why would you what is wrong with you you hear danger you run away not towards it but yeah and there was another thing he did <laughs> it's a couple episodes in uh, he received the sword from Zeus this cool ass Sword that can cut through anything. He receives it from Zeus, and what does he do with it? He fucking throws it away. Why? Do, why would you do that? Why would you do that? I understand you're angry and stuff, but I mean, I don't fuck with my father. If he brought me a cool ass sword, though, I'd be like, "Thanks. This is really nice." I mean, fuck you, but this is really nice. I really like. Like, why would you throw it away? What's wrong with you? <laughs> I mean, anger makes people do stupid things. I thought that was really stupid. But, whatever, I'll forgive it. But, yeah, uh, I also wanted to talk about this, because this was something that, like, I was couldn't wait to get the spoilers to talk about. And I know I wasn't the only one who noticed it. Did y'all see the four-titty giant? <laughs> who, who, like, whoever drew that giant is a nut. <laughs> I was sitting there, like, I was watching it, and, you know, I was looking at it, and I was like, I had to rewind and go back, did they really just draw a giant with four titties? <laughs> like, oh my gosh, this, this series is just trying to do a bit much now. <laughs> but, yeah, this was a good series, I liked it, you know, I liked the, how they put the twist on, uh, Greek mythology. Let's see what else they can do. I was wondering the whole time where Hades was. I was like, where the hell is Hades? But as you can see in the end, he appears in the end. I don't know what that'll mean for the series going on. And yeah, are they going to get the sword back? Like, because he, his brother, Heron's brother just threw the sword at that little giant mechanical thing and he just left it there. And I'm just like, I know this is a means of urgency, but that's a pretty cool sword. I, I mean, it could cut through anything. I think it would be very important to keep. <laughs> but nonetheless, good series, and I would recommend it 
you know, it's not for the faint of heart and people who don't like gory stuff. And if you're not into like uh, mythology and Greek mythology stuff, you know, definitely don't watch it. I was also wondering, like, when's Kratos going to come and just kill everybody? <laughs> I know I wasn't the only one thinking that, like, when's Kratos is going to come and kill everybody? <laughs> but yeah, no, uh, all jokes aside, this is a good series. Uh, thank you for the recommendation. You guys put recommendations down in the comments. Uh, let me know what you guys thoughts of the ser series was. Tell me, did you see the giant four titty bitch? I didn't. I thought I was the only one who saw it. But yes, comment, like, and subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next review. Mediocre. Everybody wanna be a rapper. You ain't real, but you play a role. Most of y'all pretty decent actors. I don't real goons, and they on the block. Hit it stain like they bleaching fabric. I'm a nice guy, but got a dark side. We could get it cracking like my.